Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and Classics, where we are beginning day four of Hot Rod Power Tour. And I'll just show you a map here, real quick. Uh, this is where we were yesterday at Rockingham. And this is the route they kind of give you. We, we needed to go to which I'm at right now, Concord, which is just a suburb of Charlotte. But the route they recommend or whatever, Hot Rod is uh, all over here, over to Fayette and 200, no, 189 miles. So instead, I when I left, I didn't have a motel or nothing, so I uh, I came up. I think I came up in here somewhere. No, I think I came right up here. And anyway, I'm right, I'm right in here. I'm just a few miles from it. So, uh, yeah, just figure I'd show you where we're at. And then, let me see here, go out a little bit. Okay, and then tomorrow we're going to Bristol. Bristol. I guess it's Bristol, Tennessee, and it's right on the border. The whole city is, I guess, like Kansas City, half Tennessee and half Virginia. So we're going, uh, it's it's not that, well, I think it's 170 miles from there to Bristol. And then after that, we'll be going home. all the way back uh, so anyway the uh, it's day starting day four and I've only got day one's video uploaded I tried last night it was a bad Wi-Fi and same at this one it's 85% uploaded and I got to check out within about an hour so Uh, they might not make it. I'm gonna try. I gotta have this open because that's where the videos uploaded or made and uh, Try to use the Wi-Fi on my phone the uh, hotspot Which I tried earlier, but it was so slow too uh, But I'll leave it running for the next couple hours and maybe it'll get out today Although when you guys see this that'll be two videos ago <laughs> no three videos ago anyway it's yeah it's a pain in the ass I know a lot of you were asking what's up but uh, no the uh, the venues have been great uh, been getting some good footage and uh, great weather uh, overcast which is great got the nomad right here uh, yeah, a lot, lot better than scorching 100 degree plus heat every day last year. So it's a nice change. The dogs are doing great. They don't get hot. Uh, you know, <laughs> how you doing, pup, pup? Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Nikki's just a little skittish there around loud cars and slamming doors and stuff like that. And puppy's having a hard time getting around, aren't you, pup? I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Okay, so yeah, I met a lot of uh, a lot of you guys uh, the last few days. Been great. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm only a couple of miles from the from the venue. What is it? Z Max Dragway or something? It's right, I guess, right beside Charlotte Motor Speedway. And. Uh, I guess I'll be back when we uh, get there. Probably be a long line to get into parking. Uh, it opens at noon. So, yeah, okay. We'll see y'all later. This is the entrance to get in, guys. That. I think it opens for another half hour. It's only 11.22, it opens at noon.
mine's about a mile long back there. The, uh, that's the Charlotte Motor Speedway there. Then this is the, whatever it is, the Max Drag. Anyway, I'll be back. Looks like we're going to inside instead of. I think that over there is for spectators, and then we're in the participant. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're parked in here, but uh, it's all asphalt. You said there's a dog park down there. It's grassy. So you can go walk them but as far as the park I'd have to probably go all the way out uh, anyway let's put down the blanket here for them yeah puppy stay on the carpet Nikki just hides underneath the car as usual puppy how you doing Okay, guys. Oh, here's a 74 GTO. Or it got the GTO emblems on it. Anyway. If I go to walk, puppy's gonna follow me. Can't walk too far. She's my little shadow. Oh, uh, yeah, there's some music blasting. Hope we don't get a. Uh... I'll just kind of stop. Puppy. Hope we don't get copyrighted by the music, but it's not very clear right now. Okay, let me get a drink going and uh, dog situated. Puppy's just ready to walk around a little bit, then she'll be wanting to sleep. Well, yeah, we're here. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Hey, guys, we'll just walk around a little bit. Uh, I know some of y'all wanted to meet me here, but probably in a hidden spot unless you walk around a lot. I hope he's just laying down. Yeah, there's 74 GTO like mine. Nobody's here, so I don't know what he's got, but... I don't want to walk too far away from... Ah, uh, now you can hear, uh, Guns N' Roses. Okay, I'll be back when the music's off. Oh, here comes Puppy anyway. Big Bob. I follow you big time on. Uh, oh, do you? you? Yeah, you're great. I just turned on the camera and I, I had said, uh, I hope, I know somebody, some people wanting to find me here, but I'm kind of parked. They, you know, waved me in over here. It'd be hard to see. Uh, yeah. Man, yeah. Oops, sorry. But, no, it's great. I never thought, she said, I'm never going to fight him. And it's like, came out with me just to see the car because I followed you from day one on this thing. From that, you know, your inspiration. I've been sitting in your field there, you know, your backyard. It's just beautiful. 
Thanks. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Did you comment on there? What? No, I haven't. If you, oh. I thought I should, but it's under my wife's name. It's under Cindy, so I've never said I probably will comment after this. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people that comment, and a bunch were wanting to meet me here. A bunch of them live in Charlotte. But, uh, so I didn't know which ones. I mean, it's, it's amazing what you did with this. You really did it in that quick of time, a year and a half or a year or whatever. About a year. Right at, right at about a year. But it's, uh, you know, off and on, not eight hours a day or nothing. But yeah, it was a lot of work. Yeah, I love what you did with it. You know, you know whether you're going to put the LS in it or a small block, you know. I didn't know at the beginning, but I know. as soon as I bought that truck for 300 bucks, it was like a no-brainer. Had to. Yeah, it's running great. It's been, been to every stop so far. Just got one more to go. Yeah, look, look out. I got yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, the uh, music stopped here for a minute, guys. So, uh, but yeah, there's a entrance up here to the grandstand and one to the tunnel. So if it gets a little overcast, I can just put puppy inside, and uh, I'll walk in there real quick. Nikki, she just stays underneath there. Just skittish. Hey guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, finally a break in the music. And I had a couple of guys come by. So they've been watching from, from the start on the Nomad. So, oh, here comes the music again. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. Okay guys, the music stopped. They said it's going to be an hour of no commercial music. So... I see his food stuff.
Hey guys, we're gonna try driving around a little bit because uh, we're just in a bad spot there with the music blasting. I can't record and uh, nobody can see me. Had a few subscribers come over, but Sun finally ducked behind a cloud. I think that spectator parking over there. Cars lined up for drag race right there. We'll have to do that one of these years. I'm gonna tell you there are vendors that are back there. Way back there? Yeah, I was following this Mustang. I'm gonna go back there and see if I can park. It's like uh, like over on the other side where you were all those cars. There's that many over on this side, and there's a bunch of vendors back there and a little stage. Okay, thanks. I'll see ya. Yeah, there's a ton of cars over that way. Might be platinum and gold parking or something over here. I don't think the music's over here. Vendors here, they're just all kind of outside. Oh, there's the other nomad wagon. That guy come up and talk to me.
nice and quiet over here. This is for new parking up here. Still no grass though. I'm just driving around getting some footage. Yeah, good. <laughs> you got enough of these car guys wanting you to park wherever the hell they want you to. Yeah, it's probably not very good footage looking out the passenger door, but. I don't know, we can park here for a while, guys. Now, this is... I'll leave the dogs in here for just a minute. I'll show you this car. If you watch DD Speed Shop. You don't get around much looking at cars because he's trapped inside at the vendor. Or he missed that... The other day, we only had 15 minutes, and uh, but the only car he looked at was this one. He just loved it. So, <laughs> this car was running and driving. I seen it running and driving, uh, maybe on the first day. <coughs> I'm pretty sure, unless it was identical to this. But uh, yeah, that's something Dan would drive. He said <laughs> he like loved it. Love the USA. Anyway, let me just walk for a second before the dogs heat up. Here's the drag strip over here. They don't allow cigarettes in the tunnel and the grandstand. Crazy. Crazy. What harm is smoking going to do in them grandstands? I'm not going to burn them down made out of aluminum. Can't see nothing here, but oh, there's a car.
That looks like my brake lights are stuck on again. <laughs> Guys taking pictures of it. Uh, brake lights are stuck on, I know. Yeah, I saw that. I watched your YouTube channel, so I've been watching the build, and I have made a comment. I got a 72 wagon. I was trying to get one. Oh, I yeah. I finished it up, so I brought my 71 wagon. I mean, 71 Chevelle. So. Let's see if it Made it down with no problems? Yeah, no problems. Get the... They got it. Oh, they came back on. Did they? Yeah, I'm going to have to mess with them again. Yeah, I keep sticking something up there. It's the new brake switch, the little... Oh, yeah, it's not holding it. Yeah, it's, uh, I keep sticking something up there to give it more. Yeah, I just pulled up here. I've been parked over there for a couple hours. Okay. On the other, actually the other side. Right. Then I come uh, over this way, and they're wanting me to park way down there, and I said, I'm just filming, going around. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're okay, so... <laughs> I gotta come over here and see what's going on. Out your yeah, I made it down, no problem. It's been pretty good so far. You're Lee, right? Yeah. Lee? You watch our channel too? Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. I sent you a message. I, I want to come meet you, and she wanted to come meet the dog. So oh, <laughs> I just pulled up. I was parked over there, and I had the dogs out. I chained them to the trailer hitch. That's yeah, all right, man. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, there's Nikki. Yeah, there's there's Nikki, Nikki here, the blind dog, and my old uh, puppy. Dude, I have never been affected so much by an animal that wasn't mine as when that horse, when she got kicked I by that horse, man. It, it screwed me up for like a week. But, it's but sad. It, she's getting along fine, so. Man. Yeah, the, the only problem is around here. She's she's skittish around. She don't know. Yeah. Well, it's it's the loud do uh, doors banging, a lot of loud exhaust, and then she has a sense that like she wouldn't want to walk between. She she knows that there's two cars here, and she don't want to walk here. It feels like she's being closed in or something. Well, at least she's still here and being loved, man. So. Yeah. But I followed the whole bill. Uh, I sent you a couple messages along the way. I'm sure you get a ton of them, but uh, I started my own channel because of watching y'all's, which is, I don't think I got like 100 followers. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a small deal, but oh, it built did. my own car uh, in the last six months because mainly like watching you guys and like DD Speed Shop and, um, you know, a few others, you know, that made me motivated to get out and do it. You know, yeah. maybe get out in the garage and do it. So I just want to say thanks for that. Yeah, I've had a uh, yeah, no problem. I've had a lot of people say that, that I give motivation and inspiration to get the projects done, and you can do it. I mean, I just stuck with this one through, started on it, and it was just a basket case, and got it done. I, I and now I'm driving across country. Yeah, with it. I picked up on it when um, you had just put the engine and stuff in it, but it was still not painted. Oh. It wasn't. It, I don't even know if you had the interior. I don't think you had done the interior yet. I don't know. I don't remember exactly the order. Because some of the videos you go back and watch at a sequence. You know what I mean? Once you start yeah, watching them, you know. Yeah, but. I made there's like 75 videos on this. <laughs> but no, if you watch the very first one or two, there is a basket case. No floors. The windows were all rotted out there, rotted out here. Just a, a real mess. I done all that before I did the engine swap. Man, yeah. it's nice to meet you. I ain't gonna hold you up too long. I'm sure you got other stuff to do besides talk to us, but I, I definitely wanted to come tell you I appreciate what you do. And yeah, no there's problem. some of us out there watching you, and you're motivating us to do things, you know. So, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. everybody should. It's good to see. I mean, I'm not putting anybody down, but not, not some big shop. You know, you don't have to have some big, huge shop and backing you a million dollars to. To right. do something and get out on the road and enjoy it, you know. So, so yeah, you I can work on it. Most of the builds I've done before this were pretty cheap compared to this one. I got 11500 into it, but it's really not that much compared mm -hmm. to what I could have put in it. But yeah, the I, other builds I've done that, I've done a 72 Nova, like the little red yeah, one. Yeah, I saw your Nova you did too, your, yeah. uh, your uh, Nova. And then I went back and saw, I think it was a Chevelle. Yeah, uh, or maybe you were just showing the Chevelle. Yeah, I got 69 Chevelle and yeah. uh, 78 Aspen and the uh, uh, 78 Nova. All the, all them I did pretty cheap, like between 3,500 and 5,000. 
Hey, you're I out knew west, this one, right? Where are, you, where are you at? Lake Oklahoma, Texas Oklahoma. border. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought so. We're, we're from like, uh, we're, we're in North Carolina, but we're like three hours east of here. You know, so. Oh. We actually made it to Rockingham yesterday, too, so. Yeah, I was there. I, I looked for you there yesterday, and I couldn't find you. They could, man. About 50 people found me. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was crazy. Well, and I was parked over there, and I had about five, six people come by. I was talking to him for a long time, and then I decided to come over here because the music was blasting right there, and I couldn't film or else you get copyrighted yeah. thing on YouTube. So I figured I'd come over here and I could film a little bit Absolutely. better. You mind if you get a picture? Yeah. I didn't know. I know a lot of times you're not on camera, so I didn't know if you were like one of those guys that don't like to be. Well, if the introduction part, I show myself, you know, sanding, yeah, grinding and doing the stripes and. Uh, there you go and painting and stuff like that no i wanted the star of the show to be the car yeah yeah mainly this car but whatever i'm working whatever on you're working on yeah i don't want to well that's what most people are tuning in to, well i don't want to say most people that's what i'm tuning in so what are you working on i want to see what he's doing you know so. yeah because a lot of youtubers they're they show their face all the time and i, and I'm, I feel like show the car yeah. <laughs> so that's what i Gotta do that. Plus, I don't have any tripods to set up and have different angles, and I just carry it around like this, you know. And uh, well, man, have a safe trip. Yeah. Nice meeting you, and uh, again, I appreciate what you do. I mean, we're out there. It makes uh, it makes us. I don't want to speak to nobody myself, but I'm sure others as well. Oh, it's a lot. And do hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of comments I get yeah. like that. That. Yeah. Which is good, you know. And I'm sure you get some too, you know, like with the flames and stuff. Oh, don't do this, do it like that, do it, do it every how you want. That's one thing I like about you. you don't give a damn. You're gonna do it how you yeah. want. That's that's how I would well, do it. Well, I only get a few negative comments, and I don't know. I shouldn't focus on them really, but uh, yeah. Well, that's some the people are like, don't put no flames on that, no metal. And then of course when I do it and show it, they're like, oh, I was wrong, man. That looks yeah. good. Ninety percent of them. There's only like one person says, ah, I still don't like the flames. Well, well, one maybe. person out of Well, some people ain't gonna admit if they're wrong anyway, but and, and maybe they don't. But I went back and looked at the uh, the video of the guy that sold that those kids, Bag of flames. Yeah, like, yeah, like 14 years ago and stuff. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm gonna see what he's using. Not, I mean, I'm not gonna put flames on my car, but I um. Well, see, I had a vision of what I wanted on flames because there's so many different ways of doing it, right? Oh, and absolutely. Colors. And I had it in my head what I wanted, and I came across that bag of flames, and I thought, that's perfect. That's just the right yep. design I wanted, and the right, you know, come to here and come to here. That's how I wanted it. And uh, so that's what I... It's tough to see, but that's what I built. Oh, yeah. This uh, uh, Shelby tribute. Yeah. Can't afford a real one, so I had to track down the parts and oh, I do. make my own. Yeah, I do, you know, put my... Put my Chevelle for a, a transformed into an SS clone, and well, the Aspen RT is a, a a real one, but yeah, I do all the SS tributes and whatever. Who's gonna know? Just like this when I put the put the 427 emblems on there. I had so many people that really got a 427. It's an LS, but, uh, right? Yeah, I got the LS swap. But you know, I needed new emblems, and you could get them 307. 350, yeah. 454. I it. thought, yeah, I might as well get 427. Puppy looks tired. She always looks that way. She's getting pretty old. She can't she's like walk 13. around. Did you say 12 or 13? She's about 11 and a half. 11. We got a bulldog that's 13, and that struck home with me too. That he's he's old. He's getting to the point where he can't get up and down too good. Yeah, that's like her. She's having trouble getting hopping in the car. Just giving out. Uh, giving. We'll let you take care of them and give them water or whatever and do your thing. But yeah, nice I'll probably meet you for real. Up. All right, yeah. we'll take it easy. Yeah, we'll Thanks. keep it up. Okay. We'll, we'll keep watching, man. Okay. Really nice to meet y'all. Nice okay. Okay, guys, maybe we'll just hang out here for a little while. That was some more fans. Yeah, I know, hundreds of you guys. I've said that and I give y'all inspiration and which is good you know it was what's put and say there uh, sitting on your ass ain't going to finish your project I don't want to say it like that but 
you know, some people can't, you know, but, uh, or can't do it every day like that. Well, I'm gonna try to fix my brake lights again. They keep sticking on. I keep sticking some cardboard things up there. Anyway, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, talked to a few people over here. We'll drive around. There you some more. Yanko stripes on that Nova. Now my front brake squeak guys. It's all new but uh it's an anti-squeak stuff I never put on there. Again a lot of people are taking pictures of my car. that PT Cruiser from yesterday. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, 
airplane car. might find a little grass area area to park for a little bit. It'll be outside of the venue but They're lining up for drag racing there. Some guy's putting his suit on. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're going to leave. It's about 4 o'clock, close to it. We're going to head to Bristol. 170 miles. The route that they have marked and the quickest way is pretty close to the same. So, uh, 170 miles. I'll see if I can get a motel on the way. Uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, I just let the puppies out here to run around on some grass and give them some water. I'll be back when we're on the road. Okay, guys, I got a motel room at Red Roof Inn. And, uh, it's a, it's a little teeny town uh, in between, about halfway there to Bristol. I should have looked it up, but I'm thinking I'm about halfway, so maybe hour and a half two hours in the morning to get there actually go over to waffle house right there and get something to eat uh yeah it's kind of a shithole area there but oh well at least it was only a hundred bucks for everything dogs tax everything hundred dollars and 32 cents so uh a lot better than the last few nights where it was through the roof uh I'm just trying her Wi-Fi. Well, this will be the end of video day four. I'm still trying to upload day three. I just now put it on there, and the Wi-Fi is slow. It took about 20 minutes to get 1%. So, I don't know if it'll speed up. Maybe it'll speed up in the middle of the night. I don't know. Hopefully, by the morning, I can get the, uh, the whole video uploaded, and then I'll start... Uh, processing this one so anyway it was a good day just glad meeting all you guys out there uh, that came up said hi and uh, if you wanted to and you couldn't find me and sorry about that but anyway uh, okay so next video will be on our way to Bristol and check it out it's supposed to be the coolest day it's supposed to be 80 and raining but that was three days ago it could change tennessee weather's kind of weird but and then after that i guess i'm just gonna head straight home get a motel whenever i'm tired so uh okay we'll see you later